Hey, congrats on this. Thank you so much. Talk really about your genesis, your involvement in this. Yeah, so I, I uh, produced the first film as well, and, and I, you know, again, I, I read Jenny Han's books, and I knew this was something that I was really amped to make, and uh, I just cold called her, and I said, right. can we get involved and let us produce these uh, into films? And so we, we, we bought the book and um, took it from there. What I love about it, well, let's back up. So you got the book. Did you have any idea? Certainly you knew it had exploded with the YA audience in text, but did you know that it was going to translate to be this juggernaut of a movie? You never know. I think we just wanted to do justice to, to what she already had going for her in the books, right? right. And I think once we started casting and, and we started developing the screenplay and we found Noah Centineo, who had this amazing old-fashioned star quality, and you sure. have Lana Condor, who's so charming and bubbly and has perfect comedic timing, and then you put that together, we were like... Oh, we got something. And I think from day one, we knew if we did uh, our jobs right, that these two movie stars would be pretty special to teens. What I love about it, as someone that loves film and also produces, is that someone who was less passionate about the, the material could have easily made a disposable movie, thinking, you know, a generation around, no one's going to care about this. You've made a film that people will be talking about for 20, 30 40 years, generations from now. Thank you, thank the, you. The, stu the substance that you put in it, the, the, the directorial, the DP that you've hired on this, the transitions are glorious. Yeah, thank you. You know, we were fortunate enough, Michael Feminari and I have made a bunch of movies together, and sure. he was the cinematographer on the first film, he's now directing the second film, and we've built a little family. And I think we, it was our, you know, Sofia Alvarez, who wrote and adapted these books, she right. was working very closely with Jenny Han, and, and again, this whole team that we have, we're very fortunate to continue to you know, build off of what she already had in the books, and there's three of them, so we wanted to do our best to create a franchise. You're not exactly the demo for the product, but at the same time, I bet there's something you can relate to. I bet it takes you back to your adolescence in every yeah, step. Yeah, I think everyone can relate to firsts, right? First love, first heartbreak, and all of those feelings you have in high school, and I think, for me, I grew up on the John Hughes movies, and so I felt like there's not enough of these types of films being made for today's market. Um, and now with with partners like Netflix, you can put them out. They go global. There's the viral buzz that happens, and I sure. think you know again, if we do our job right and make a good movie, we've got great partners who can actually help us get it out to the rest of the world. We, let's talk about the distribution of this. When you were a kid, you probably, if you had dreams of being a filmmaker at that time, it's all about splashing it on the big screen. But yeah. talk about what it means to splash it on screens of any size, anywhere, yeah. available I, anytime. I think it, you know. It's about telling the right story, and if that story resonates, and in this particular one, right, everyone relates to firsts, and we were able to now take the romantic comedy space has died. Well, it didn't die. Everyone loves stories about love. Right, We right. just needed new ways to tell it, and I think for Laura Jean, and to go into her head and the anxiety she feels, and this Korean-American family, it felt like a very traditional, cozy way, but a new, fresh way of telling a rom-com for teenagers. And sure. so. I think that resonates. Ron Howard said one time, uh, every movie you make as a filmmaker for the rest of your life will find some way to break your heart. But at the same time, when you dust it off, you'll also find something that you fall in love with. Yeah. What's the moment that you'll always fall in love with, with this movie that crystallizes it for you? You know, I think it's when you first see the chemistry happen, when they start to sign that letter for Laura Jean and Peter in, this, in the first film. I think it was just something beautiful for these two adolescent kids trying to figure it out and navigate each other. I, it was just a pretty charming moment. Yeah, it all works. Can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you so Thanks much. For your time, man. Appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.